like anything in life, you got situations that you don't necessarily want to confront or challenging situations, but if you break those down into little bitty small increments, you know, you can, they become a lot more attainable. Candidly, I'm always a little nervous when you bring a new product or any product out here and you test it. You know, I've tested them before, but this environment here really, you can get any weather, you can get any temperature, you know, you can be sliding down hills. So I'm always a little nervous about how it's going to perform and if it's going to perform the way I expect it to. And I can honestly say that everything thus far has exceeded my expectation. Where get up here? This next ridge, which I think is about 10,100 feet, and it should open up a little bit if memory serves. I try to get on this ridge, and there's it falls off really, really steep off the back. So there's a little saddle up here, just seeing if they're crossing between one drainage to the other. Um, so get up there, check out that saddle. Make sure we can find water, which is should be a little bit to our west. And then thirdly, just listen and glass some of these. Um, we'll be able to see some open hillsides, I believe. If not from this ridge, from the next ridge up. So we're just trying to get into position. Very gratifying to be able to design a line and pick the textiles and the features and the functionality and then bring it up in an environment like this and see it uh, not only you know function but but function extremely well. Very fresh. You know, over the last year I've proven this to be a very effective pattern, and yesterday was the closest shot I've ever had on an animal. The elk that I ended up sticking with an arrow was less than six yards. It was coming up the mountain essentially looking at me and, and didn't see me. So it's fun to know that it actually works and works extremely well. You know, from a product and a camo perspective, it's been a great trip. Dead at you. He was he was starting to turn, but I was so close. I thought he's gonna see I just, me. I would have stayed like 20 yards. I was like, he's gonna see me. So my only shot was that far. He's facing me, and I just put it right through that hole. And yeah. immediately, blood was just. <sighs> that is truly amazing. And you were within 10 yards of where I shot. 15. And you were able to get all on film, right? Of course. <laughs> That's you, you were what, like 15 yards away? Yeah. Maybe. Unreal. Unreal. The Andrew shot his bull about an hour ago. While we were looking for his bull, this guy kept firing and we were able to bring him in. Hard to believe. Hard, hard, hard to believe. Two elk with a bow in one season. One New Mexico, one Colorado, both public land, unreal. Unreal. So the greatest part about this bull was, he was probably five or six yards facing me and never saw me. So I'd say the camo's good to go. You know, in the midst of getting it dressed out, ready to pack out, it started snowing. 
and it was in a real deep ravine. And knowing I had to pull how many hundred pounds of meat back up a really steep hill where it was, you know, some parts of it, a lot of it was, you know, on all fours in order to keep my balance. That wasn't fun, but it was just something you had to do. And for me, I kept telling myself, just take 10 steps, literally 10 steps at a time. And after an hour, going 10 steps at a time, I had gotten where I needed to be. It's just having a, a mindset that you're gonna take it one thing at a time and you're not gonna give up and you're gonna get out of it. it means we gotta go that much higher. Right? I think hunting is an avenue with which to get outside and enjoy it with friends and family and you know the byproduct of that is being able to kill and eat an animal that you normally otherwise wouldn't but again I think that's secondary to being out in a place like this where not many people you know whether they don't want to or whether they're not physically fit enough or whether they just haven't been exposed to it don't get the opportunity to come up here and do this. So while hunting is the avenue, it's really about you know being out here for a week and living off your back and enjoying it with good friends and having different experiences. A little pain photo. Yeah, you know, go document this. To come up here and do this, and to have all the uncertainty with the weather like we did yesterday and the snow and. There's a certain amount of adrenaline that comes with uncertainty, I think. You never know what you're going to get up here, but to be able to come up here and do it, you get to push yourself a little bit. So that's a big part of coming up here and seeing if you can still hack it. At least it is for me. In this spot right here, this is my favorite spot, I think, in the world. Thank you.